What is going on guys, Alex here, and you guys know that the OnePlus 2 has recently lost support from OnePlus, so it will not be getting Android 7 on the Oxygen OS firmware. This is kind of a disappointment, but in today's video I'm going to show you how to flash Android 7.1.1 on the OnePlus 2. So let's get straight into it. You can, you can. The new Kingston A400 brings SSDs to everyone, boasting super fast speeds and a low price tag. Find out more in the video description or at the end of this video. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to flash Android 7.1.1 on here using Synergen Mod 14.1. I haven't had any trouble with it although that is a lot of risk. When you're doing this you can lose your IMEI and your baseband number which are irretrievable and will also render your phone useless. And you can also brick your device which is obviously something that you don't want to do because then it just becomes a paperweight. Obviously be aware there is a lot of risk when you do this type of thing but of course if you're sensible and if you're careful you won't have any problems. Okay so just a word of warning as well Synergen Mod 14.1 is still under development so there are a couple of issues. I've actually had an issue with my phone where the accelerometer or the gyroscope so if you're playing like driving games and you tilt it or in taking photos and you put it sideways just doesn't work. Okay so let's head over to the desk to check out exactly what we need to do to get Android 7.1 on the OnePlus 2. Okay so guys the first thing you're going to want to do when you go onto your phone before you do anything with TWRP or Synergen Mod is you're going to want to go into your settings scroll down to the bottom and go to developer options and make sure that OEM unlocking is on so you will have to enter your pin but once you have it on you will be fine to do everything else that you need to do now because when I did this myself for the first time I actually realized that I didn't have it on so I'd already wiped the phone but when I was trying to flash the TWRP I had to set the phone up again turn it on and then go and flash it again which reset the phone again so it was a bit ridiculous make sure that you do it now so you don't have to do it a bit later on and after that point then you're going to hold down your power button press restart and go into bootloader so once you've done that literally press bootloader and press ok okay so then once you have your phone connected in fast boot mode and it will come up like this and it will say oneplus fast boot mode get your usb-c cable plug it into your computer and then plug in your phone at this time then you're going to go and want to download adb okay so once you've downloaded adb move it down to your desktop you can just see here i've got it then open it up press yes you can let it ch make changes to your hard drive and then just type y and enter y and enter and then it's literally just going to install it and then press Y once again and just press enter and then it will let you install the drivers that you need to connect a fast boot mode device to your computer. Okay so after this then once we're done with ADB I'm going to move it over here we then need to download the ROM which you can get Synergen Mod 14.1 links of course in the description download the GAPS which is the Google app so you get things like Chrome, um, Google Play Games, the Play Store all of that type of stuff so you're gonna need to download ARM64 so when you go onto the website which I've linked in the description click ARM64 7.1 and then micro and press download that's what you need for this phone then you also need to download your TWRP and rename it to recovery so just as I've got it here just rename your TWRP file to recovery and then optionally you can download the Super SU version 2.74 which is the root for this so I've actually got mine rooted um, but you obviously don't need to do that you can just flash a new ROM and not have it rooted so those are actually all the downloads you need to have so then we're going to hold shift and do right click on the desktop and then do open new command window here and since you've had ADB drivers installed we can then type we can then type fast boot devices and this should come up it'll just be a load of random numbers and it'll say fast boot if nothing comes up then your drivers are not installed and the best way to do it then is to just keep this open, reinstall your drivers and type it again and just get the same result. So then the next thing we're going to want to type is fast boot OEM unlock and then press enter and then it's literally just unlocked the bootloader for the phone so we can now flash custom ROMs. And after that we can type fast boot reboot press enter and then your phone will actually reboot itself. Now what I've noticed with this method is that there's no difference with my phone because my bootloader is already unlocked because I've already obviously already done this. But of course when you do it you will have wiped your phone as of typing fast boot OEM unlock so just be aware of that. Make sure that you've backed up all of your data and now we can move on to flashing TWRP. Okay so what you're going to want to do to flash TWRP is okay so you want to press power off on the phone and just let it turn off and then we're going to want to boot it up into fast boot mode which is volume up and power so we're going to hold those two. Then you want to plug it back in have your TWRP file on your screen here so this is the TWRP right click on it and press rename and just rename it to recovery okay and as of this point open back up this and then type and we're going to want to type fast boot flash recovery and then the name of the file is recovery.img press enter here it goes now it's writing the recovery file 
to the OnePlus 2. Once you can see that's done and it says OK, finished, you're going to want to then unplug your phone and just turn it off yourself so just hold this down and after this you should still expect it to boot up into oxygen os or whatever os you're using before you did everything so obviously if it doesn't you can see here i've got mine with a custom bootloader which i've had for ages so yeah once that then boots up we can then go ahead and do a nandroid backup using twrp so okay so once everything boots up and everything's working fine as you can see on mine i'm now going to go turn it back off again so this is obviously where battery life is needed so make sure that when you start this you have over 70 percent Okay, so once your phone is off then you can go and press the power button and hold down volume down at the same time and it should then go into Team Win Recovery. There it is. So we can now see that it's got TWRP successfully flashed and this is the point where we need to back up everything that's crucial to the phone. So we're going to go and click back up here, tick every single box and then select storage, make sure it goes to internal storage, press OK and then swipe to back up and swipe it, it will back up everything that you currently have on your phone. So that's all your IMEI, the model number, it'll have your baseband number, it'll keep everything that's crucial for the phone to work and you can back it up so if anything goes wrong in the next couple of steps you can actually go back and reflash this and just get everything back the way that you liked it. Then what we can do is drag over the phone, we can actually take Super SU over to here and flash it using TWRP which will then route to the stock ROM so you'll be routing Oxygen OS. I'm not going to do that obviously because I don't want to do that but what we're going to do is we're going to take the Synergen mod file, drag that over to the root of the storage of the phone, that's quite a small thing. And then also take the Google Apps, or GAPS as it's called, and copy that over as well. Do not extract the zip files, copy them over as zip files because that's the best way of doing this. Okay, and once they're then done, you go back onto your phone, swipe to unlock. Okay, so before you install the ROM, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the wipe screen, so that's up here in the top right corner, and then literally just swipe to factory reset, and at this point you're literally wiping all the data off the phone, so you will not be able to boot it after this point and then just press install you're going to want to scroll down to the bottom of the root of the storage and you'll see Synergen mod 14.1 i'm going to do swipe to confirm flash and then it's literally going to flash Synergen mod onto my phone which is obviously the android 7.1.1 firmware which is awesome okay so once we're done flashing Synergen mod 14.1 we can then go to the google apps swipe to confirm flash so then the google apps will be installed onto Synergen mod which means that you'll basically have like a stock android type phone and after this point at the bottom when it says done you're literally good to press reboot system and then just do swipe to install twrp which you have to do because you need the twrp app unplug your phone before it boots back up which i should have done earlier i know but if you didn't then do it at that point and just wait for your phone to boot up and now you'll basically have an optionally rooted phone i'm not going for the route this time because I did last time and it just created problems with online banking apps uh, where they don't actually let you use it. So here we have this Synergen mod loading thing and it's basically done now. So we now have a successfully working Android 7.1.1 device. OnePlus removing this update for even Android 7.0 on the OnePlus 2 is kind of like a punch to the face to all those users who love the OnePlus 2. I can't believe you've done this. I mean, this phone perfectly handles Android 7.0, like, really nicely, and I don't see the point in removing the support. But apart from that, guys, that is basically this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please go and subscribe for more content like this, and I will catch you guys in my next video. The new Kingston A400 SSDs bring SSDs to everyone, boasting great looks to match any PC build, insane performance when compared to traditional hard drives, whilst keeping the price low. For more information, check the link in the video description below.